I tested dozens and dozens of Amazon products this year, so you didn't have to, and these are my top favorites for 2023. All the products in this video will be listed in the description below, and I'll also link to my Amazon storefront where you can find all of the curated lists. Let's get started with the first one. The first life-changing product, and honestly, I brag about this and talk about this, and I'm so grateful for it every single day, is my new robot vacuum. So this is the iRobot Roomba J6 Plus self-emptying robot vacuum. This thing is amazing. So what I love about it is that like the first couple times you use it, it maps out your house. So it mapped out the whole first level of our house and then it comes up on the app and it shows you pretty much like a blueprint of your house. From there, I can identify which rooms I want it to go to. I can block off certain areas within that room. So I've blocked off the robot vacuum from going into my bathroom because I've got some rugs in there and in my pantry. So it doesn't like go into those areas is because it usually like will get stuck or for whatever reason, I just don't want it going in there. So I've blocked off those rooms and you can also send it directly to that room and set a schedule for which rooms you want at what frequency and it has been amazing. One of the things I really love about it is that it will go to the room it maps out and then it goes in straight lines. So it looks like those perfectly crisp vacuum lines. If you, you know, took the time to vacuum your whole house, it looks perfect. And honestly, there's nothing more satisfying. Another thing I really love about this vacuum is that it will take pictures of obstacles during the job. And then it will ask you in the app, like, do you, is this normal? Like, should I avoid this area next time? Is this a permanent object here? Or is it going to be moved the next time? So if you have a big cluster of cords or if you have something that's kind of temporary, you can tell it, oh, actually next time I want you to go back to that spot or I want you to avoid this spot from now on. It is so smart and it's self emptying so I don't have to go and empty it all the time. I get the alerts on my phone if it's stuck, which it's never been stuck actually, but if there's ever an error or anything, it comes with all of that in the app. It is so smart and this has been probably my number one most life changing product from Amazon this year and hopefully it's going to be on sale Right now it's actually on sale 50% off while I record this. I'm anticipating that it's going to go on sale during this kind of Black Friday, Thanksgiving, Christmas period. So make sure you put it in your cart. This is the number one best product that has changed my life in 2023. The next thing that just adds a little bit of convenience and just ease in my life, especially in the kitchen, is this cordless mixer. So I have this electric mixer that I've had for a long time, it's corded. And so I can only use it in certain spots in my kitchen where I have an outlet. However, this one, you just charge for a couple hours it tells you there's like an indicator on there to tell you how charged it is and that's so nice because I can like move around the kitchen or I can give it to my kids to help me in the kitchen and this is like one of those just little luxuries where I don't have to be you know attached to a cord to the wall or to the island it is so so convenient and I honestly love it and it's nice to use like for my videos so then I don't have to be you know attached to this cord I really have loved this cordless electric mixer Another one of my favorite products this year has been my new deep fryer. So I've been experimenting with this for probably six months now, and it is definitely one of my favorite appliances because I can make so much amazing food in this. And the thing I love about this deep fryer in particular is one, it's a good price. Two, it is self filtering. So once you're done cooking, you just let the oil cool down for a couple hours and then you just turn this knob. So then it goes from frying to filtering. So all the oil in the basin, it just filters down into this like collection bin thing underneath and then you can store the oil to use a couple more times so then you're not using a whole new batch of oil for every single fry. This makes it so convenient because I can just store the oil with the fryer the entire time. And it's like nice because it filters it all out for you. Then I can just take all the other parts out and wash them. It is so convenient. And this is definitely one of the most like fun appliances that I've used. We made donuts on the 4th of July. I've been making Japanese fried chicken. I can make like egg rolls. What else have I made? We've made mozzarella sticks, French fries. Like it's really fun. It's obviously not something you use every single day, but it's something that really just makes all those dishes like so much better if they're actually deep fried versus like pan fried. Plus I usually do it outside so it's not so stinky in my house and it doesn't, you know, like cause issues and stuff. But I love this deep fryer and if you're looking for something like this, I definitely recommend this tea fowl one. If you've been watching my videos for the last couple of years, you know I love using a good salad spinner, but the one that I had, it was like 15 years old and it finally bit the dust this year. So I was forced to buy a new one and this has been an amazing salad spinner. So I love the salad spinner. It's the OXO one. It has 
like a ton of really good reviews. And what I love about it is that it has like a really large bowl and it's really deep. So then I can do tons of lettuce, produce, berries. If you've watched my berry hack video right here, you know that this is like essential for that. But it's nice because you can use it for obviously more than spinning salad. Like I do all of my fruits in here when I get them home from the grocery store, I'll soak them in vinegar water to help them from molding and this has like a really large capacity and like the lid, like it just works way better than my other one. And something that I like about this one is that the little spinner thing right here, it like locks into place. So then it's a little bit easier to store. There's nothing like protruding out of it. This salad spinner has been awesome. If you're in the market for a new one, I highly suggest this one. I'm using every single day lately are these gravity salt and pepper grinders. Since I cook every single day and I season everything, I used to have salt and pepper grinders that you would have to grind and twist. And these are automatic, they're electric. You charge them and then there's a little button on the back that you can turn on. As soon as you turn it over, it will start to grind for you. You can adjust the coarseness right here, but it just goes just like that. The cool thing about this is that it also has a little light right there so that you can see your food when you're seasoning it on a grill, outside, inside, in a darker place, in a bowl, and it's really, really convenient. I've mentioned this defrosting plate in a previous video and I still use it all the time because I always forget to defrost my meat the night before in the fridge. So what I do is I just put whatever I need to defrost frozen straight onto this board and it defrosts in like half the time. It's pretty amazing and I'm not sure exactly why, but it works and you need to try it out. You can see that the ice cube is melting totally better on this melting or defrosting board versus just sitting there. I've tried it on fish, chicken, beef, even packages of ground meat, and it always works every single time. Next, this is something that I bought myself for Christmas. It's a set of these super cute glasses. So they come with these really fat straws. So you could do them for boba or any of your favorite iced drinks and my water is kind of looking a little aerated right now but they're coming like this little canned like shape and I just think they are so amazing and so chic and I just love drinking anything out of them honestly they're just so fun so these glasses I think they would make a really fun gift they're just super fun to drink out of they're so cute and I mean everything tastes better in a better cup right speaking of drinks you definitely need to get this frother I mean I've talked about this a million times and the video on this went viral last summer it's got millions and millions and millions of views and this frother is amazing this is the simple taste one and I love that it has like this really fat top so it's really like easy to press the button and it mixes drinks so well it mixes anything that you want like if you like cold foam on like your coffee or if you drink greens or mixers or any type of a powdery substance use this every single day. <laughs> like my kids love using it to mix things. I can even make things like salad dressing and mix ingredients with it if I don't want to, you know, just like get out a whisk. Like this just makes this thing so quickly. So I love the Simple Taste Frother. It's an amazing gift, super inexpensive, and I would buy this the second it breaks because I use it every single day. This next product looked a little scammy, but I was looking for a new butter dish because mine broke and I just pulled my old one just right off the kitchen counter so you can see here that it is so messy. It's literally just a rectangular dish with the butter and a butter knife on there that we just keep on the counter and it really just was not working. So this next product is called the Butter Hub. The Butter Hub has a couple features that make it really worth it. So the first thing is that it has an attached knife, which this one still has some butter and crumbs on it, and it magnetically attaches to the top of your butter lid. And the cool part about this lid is that the magnet is not strong enough. It's like perfectly formulated so that the top of the lid will not come off. It's just perfectly magnetic enough. So it holds on to the knife, but it's not going to pull the lid off with it. Another cool thing about this butter hub, it has these little ramped sides. So if you have extra butter on your knife like this, you can just scrape it right off on the side and it has a designated place to scrape. Another pro is that on the lid, it has these raised edges so that you can 
put it down on your counter without getting these greasy sides onto the actual counter. It just lifts right up. So they thought of everything. The Butter Hub works for short sticks of butter like this or the skinnier long ones. And it's actually been a very nice addition to our butter routine. Next up is my trusty little bag sealer. I bought this on Amazon a couple months ago and I absolutely love it. I've been sealing a lot of my little packages. If my kids half eat something, I'll just seal it up and have them eat it as a snack later. This has been a really nice home hack because it has just a tiny little magnet on the back. It also has this little loop so that you can hang it. But I just use this all the time whenever I have to seal something up really quickly. And it also comes with a little razor on the top so then I can open up and throw away or recycle my boxes. This next one is really good for when you're going on a road trip. It's called the Drop Stop. I think I've mentioned this before in one of my other Amazon videos, but it's essential for a long road trip because it's like inevitable that something's going to fall through the cracks in your seat. So these, the drop stops just go right into like the seat belt, little buckle part, and then you push them between like your center console and your seat. This prevents anything from dropping down there, whether that's food, your phone, a credit card, keys, anything, because obviously like only the most important things get dropped down there. So we love having these drop stops. I've put them in our cars and they are so essential for road trips. I usually keep one of these in the car as it is, but especially when we're going on a trip, it seems like the car just gets totally trashed. So I highly recommend getting a car vacuum. So these are both that Bridgy, Briggy brand that I've used in a lot of my other videos. There's these two different models. They just sent me this one for Christmas. It's like, this is like an upgraded version. It's like nice because it has a clear container here, but this is the one that I bought last year. It has all sorts of different attachments. It can charge in your car and it's nice to just clean up quick little spills, sand, dirt, food. And it's really nice to keep in the car so you're not like smushing in crumbs, if you know what I mean. The last thing you might need for a car road trip are these sauce moto dip clips. So they're a little sauce containers that you put in the vents of your car and then they hold any kind of a little sauce like a chick-fil-a sauce or barbecue sauce ketchup and then you can like dip like have somewhere to dip your fries or your food while you're driving or i mean being a passenger and it's just kind of like a fun little thing i found them on i think i found them on shark tank i don't know but anyway we've had them in the car and they're just kind of fun to use every now and then if we need to eat in the car this next kitchen hack product was so cool so these are little mesh fly tents and i bought these to use for outdoor eating whenever we have food outside or gatherings. I took these up to my husband's family reunion dinner that we had up in the canyon a couple weeks ago and they really really helped to just cover our food from bugs, flies, anything else. So they're really lightweight, they're like mesh, but they have a little tent in the middle. You just kind of pull it up. Whoops. Just like that and it becomes a little bug net for your food, which I think is really, really convenient. They also collapse really easily and they're extremely lightweight. It's just like a tiny little mesh umbrella and we got to keep our food fresh and clean. This utensil drawer has been kind of a disaster forever. We've had the same like utensil holder since, I think my husband took it to college with him. Like I think, I'm pretty sure my mother-in-law put that in his college apartment for him. Like when he came back to like go to school and we've had the same one for at least 12 years. It's at least 12 years old because that's how long we've been married. So I just wanted to get something a little different, a little bit more efficient, a little bit more modern. So I got these new utensil holders and I think they are just so chic and they're really nice because they're like little pockets that you put your utensils in. This one in particular has the little side drawer that kind of adjusts in and out and you can do different things. I put our chopsticks in there, but it's really nice to just keep the like eating part, like the part that goes in your mouth like in a little contained part so then it doesn't have like dust and dirt and like other stuff getting on there. I also bought a smaller one to put on the other side because I didn't know how big this one would adjust and I put all of our other miscellaneous utensils, our older utensils in there and this actually has been working really well at our house. So let's move to the next drawer over. It's my knife and sharp drawer. So basically anything that has a blade on it goes in this drawer to just keep everyone safe and I put a knife block one in there from the same company. It's the same design and it's so nice. Now I don't have to worry about my knives getting dull and banged up or getting damaged in any way. Also, 
Also, can I just say before I do any organizing in a sp specific space, I always take everything out of that space and then give it a little clean before I reimagine and reorganize it. So that's my number one tip is make sure you just take everything out, clean it out so then you have a fresh and clean palette to work on. To do this, I really like to use my little Briggy vacuum. It's like a hand vacuum. And I keep this one in the kitchen for things just like this because I don't like using like my big vacuum that goes in like yucky crevices to be touching like my kitchen drawers. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of a germaphobe that way, but I love it, it's so convenient and I use it like every single day. We have one drawer at our house that is just like a nightmare and it is our Tupperware drawer. It's a large drawer under my oven and as you can see, it is like a disaster. I have no idea how it ends up like this because I clean it out every couple months and then it's like nice and functional and then it just turns into a disaster. So what I did for spring cleaning this year was I took everything out and we cleaned it and we vacuumed it and we wiped it down and I replaced everything in there with just one set of the Rubbermaid Brilliance Snapware containers. Those containers are amazing. I've talked about them in so many of my other videos, but they're BPA free, they're stain free, they are like leak proof, and they just work amazingly well. They're so good at keeping produce fresh. And I'm anyway, so I got a whole box set of these and I'm just replacing everything else so then it stays clean and organized and I don't have to worry about all these different lids. In addition to the Rubbermaid Brilliant set with all matching everything, I kept my lid organizer. So this is like a drawer organizer. You can do, you know, Tupperware containers, snapware containers and lids. And so I put that back and I put in these smaller containers as well as the lids, our bent goes that we do for, for home lunches. I also have my gobies that I love for my kids for snacks and just like other smaller containers that I still did want to keep. And this is so nice to just keep things organized. I wish I had an organizer like this for every single cupboard and drawer in my kitchen because it really does help. I like how this is adjustable so you can put it in a cupboard or a drawer and it has these little like fins that you put in to make dividers for different sections and you can adjust them to whatever size you need. Now we're moving on to the other side of the counter which is my large drawer. This is the one that I have all of my like cooking utensils and other things in. So this acrylic organizer is one that I got about a year ago and it has been so nice. Before I just had like a cheap utensil holder like the one that I took out of my utensil drawer and it just wasn't a very efficient use of space. This acrylic one not only looks really good it's also adjustable so it expands and contracts to put in any space that you need. The containers are not curved on the bottom and so you're not wasting that space. There we go, now that looks so much better. Across from that is our junk drawer. Ours also shares a space with like our plastic wrap and our little sandwich baggies. And this drawer is kind of a nightmare because it's just kind of a dumping ground for like anything that doesn't actually have a home. So first things first, of course, I take everything out and then I got these new acrylic sandwich bag holders. So these are very trendy right now. Like everyone has them and they come in all sorts of different shapes and designs and materials. For me, I really wanted something that was acrylic and clear because I kind of like that aesthetic. And then I also wanted the ones where the boxes were individual and not like one giant like tray that you had to put in to the drawer in one spot. I wanted something where all the pieces were adjustable and movable so then I could put them wherever I needed. And then if I also wanted to just take one out of the drawer, I could do that as well. So these ones are nice because they have a little magnetic top that snaps on there. So then there's no hinges that can break. And I also like that you don't have to like stuff it through the hole. You can take off the whole top and then put things in there. So then nothing is going to break and it looks really nice. So this drawer also got a little bit of a makeover and it got cleaned up it feels much better. The next thing that is one of my top selling recommendations is this rice rinsing bowl. Now it sounds really silly, but if you make rice a lot like we do, then this is completely necessary. It's a special bowl that has like special holes on the bottom, these ridges on the sides. It has a little colander strainer thing on the spout. So when you're pouring the bowl over, you can drain that water out without losing any precious rice. I'm using that to make the jasmine rice for the bulgogi meatballs from the HelloFresh box. And honestly, I don't know what I do without this rice rinsing basket. It's really inexpensive and honestly like people buy this day in and day out because it's 
just a simple thing that makes life so much better. Now, when I first tried this product, I was a little skeptical about it. I was like, eh, like I don't, it would be nice to have, but also like, I don't think you have to have it, but I've kind of changed my mind. I actually really love it and I use it every single time I use ground meat. The thing that I really love about it is that it makes ground meat like really finely ground. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. When you use a spatula or something else to mash up the ground beef or the ground pork or ground chicken or turkey in your pot, I just feel like there are some bigger chunks or some smaller chunks and it doesn't cook and feel even. Like it doesn't feel very cohesive as much as when I use this tool. Now it's just like a little masher. It's like a little star shape and it's honestly awesome. Now you know that I absolutely love my Stanley Tumblr. I'm just like every other woman on the internet. <laughs> I love this thing. I adore it. I, it's, it's always with me. However, the one thing I don't like about it is that the base is a little rough. So sometimes if I set it down too quickly on the countertop, a table or a desk, it kind of makes a clinging sound and I worry that I might be damaging either the tumbler or the surface. So what I found are these little Stanley tumbler boots. They're just little silicone cups and you can use them for your Stanley so it just fits right on the bottom and it makes it so that the bottom is just nice and smooth and kind of grippy and it's like a cute color. They come in a whole bunch of different colors, but then now when I set it on top of something, I don't have to worry too much about it getting damaged or the surface getting damaged as well. The cool part is that these work with everything. So I have them on my kids' water bottles because you know, they're just gonna like cling it onto the countertop. They also work in other tumblers like this and they still fit in the cup holder in my car. It's really just nice to have like a grippy, just, it just feels nice when you set it down. Honestly, these are super inexpensive and so worth it. If you've been here longer than like five minutes you know that I absolutely love my water pick it's my water flosser and I cannot travel without one so this is a travel water pick it comes with a little pick on the top and then you just fill up this little reservoir with water and then it's kind of like a handheld one which is really nice and it just charges it's very compact I will like not leave my house without this and I cannot go to sleep without water picking my teeth it's like a power washer for between your teeth and it gets just blasts all the junk out of there so I absolutely love it and I definitely need to travel one because I can't not do it on vacation I've also talked about these before but these are my favorite makeup remover wipes so they're reusable which I love I just pack one for every single day that I plan to wear makeup on my trip and they're much better than like the disposable wipes they get everything off my face without using makeup remover you just use hot water so that's what I really like about these one they're reusable and two I don't have to carry makeup remover with me so I just run these under hot water wipe everything off my face and they dry really quickly too and I just throw them in my dirty clothes after I definitely never travel without these so for me when I am getting in this like cleaning mode I like to deep clean so the number one tool that I love to help me do this is my business steam shot cleaner this is like the best thing to clean out all those little crevices any equipment that's been sitting in your garage all winter it makes everything so clean it has all these different attachments and it gets the scum off of every surface that you can imagine also I hope you never have to use it for this purpose but this winter our neighborhood got egged and we had frozen eggs stuck on the stucco of so many houses and that Bissell steam shot honestly was like the only thing that got it off of some parts of these houses. So this is an amazing tool. I use it all the time for so many uses in the kitchen, bathrooms, outside. You need this Bissell steam shot cleaner. The next life-changing product I want to share with you is this electric lighter. So this is a rechargeable candle lighter. You just press this part up and then there's a power button that you can see right here. And once you press that <laughs> it lights candles so as you can see this is a really pretty and cool way to just kind of spice up your house add a little class it's just kind of a fun cool tool and a toy I think it's also a really cute gift it was less than ten dollars so this is definitely something to add onto your Amazon wish list we don't wear shoes in our home and so we always take them off when we come in from the garage so what we did was we bought this 
big shoe organizer and we stuck it into the coat closet. We don't have a lot of coats in there anyway, so it worked out much better to use it as a shoe closet. This has been really nice because then we put our hats and our sunscreens, our keys, anything else that needs to go in there in addition to the shoes. This next product I definitely thought was going to be a scam, but I found myself reaching for it versus the traditional method. This is called a snap and strain and it is a snap on colander that you can put on a pot or a bowl. This fits on a variety of pot and bowl sizes, so you can drain noodles directly into the sink. You could drain some beans or some salad or some watermelon juice out of a bowl, and it's extremely convenient. They've thought of everything from these heavy-duty little clips here to this little tab, and the great part is, look how small this is. This is just about as big as my hand, and you can fit this in a drawer. You can fit this in a small space versus a large colander if you don't have that kind of space. These next three products are absolutely essential, and I'm so excited to share them with you. So the first product is this hair streak brush. It's kind of curved, and it's kind of dirty, sorry, because it's not dirty, but it has hair in it because it's used. But it has these bristles, and then it also has like these, I don't know what they're called, just like bristly bristles. <laughs> what? But this brush has so many tens of thousands of good reviews. And the cool thing about this brush is that it's like, a no pull brush. So my mother-in-law actually bought this for my daughter because she has beautiful hair, but she absolutely hates getting it brushed. She like is so dramatic when we try and brush her hair because she says it's so painful. She was lamenting about getting her hair brushed to my mother-in-law and so she bought this brush for her and this brush is the best. We own like 16 brushes and this is the one that I go to all the time because it really does not pull her hair at all and I kind of want to steal it all the time. This next product is life-changing if you like myself are a ponytail wearer like this so this is a pony cap i don't know if that's the actual brand but this is a ball cap that's really cute but it comes with this on the back so then you can put your hair in a ponytail in a low ponytail here or like any variation along the back and it looks really cute so let me try it like this i like to personally kind of put my fingers in this little hole first that I think I'm going to need. So then I can grab my ponytail. So I go like this, pull out the ponytail so then it stays nice and slick. And I'm actually giving this one as a gift. That's why <laughs> the tag is still on it. And then I can just adjust it. And then look how cute that is. You don't have to have that weird, awkward ponytail that's like on the base of your neck. That is so cute, right? So. I love this pony hat. It's so practical and it would be a great gift as well. So life-changing 2023 product for sure. Okay, I've talked about this one before and I have seriously, this is one of my best sellers every year, every month. It's these little hair sticks. So it's basically kind of like hair gel in a mascara tube, in a mascara wand. And what you do is just put it in and then it smooths all of your flyaways to make your hair just look so much more polished. And I don't know about you, but especially when I travel, like the water and the climate is always different. Like the shower water is always really hard. And so my hair like freaks out and I don't ever take all of my regular hair care routine stuff, but this always helps because it tames all the flyaways and I don't have to pack like a big thing of hairspray or hair gel. I just use this and it works every single time. Keep it in my purse, keep one in the car, keep one in my desk. I always use this and I always gift it to my friends. I wanted to shout out this amazing knife. It's the Mercer bread knife. This is one of my favorite knives. I use it all the time. It has the best like sturdy handle, the sharpest blade. I use this for bread, but I also use it for a lot of other things. If I'm cutting like a large watermelon and I want something that has like the serrated edge, this is the best knife and it's really inexpensive. So I'd love to gift this along with a loaf of homemade bread and some homemade jam and it makes like an incredible gift this is one of the best knives this is like a really good all-purpose knife honestly like if you're gonna spend a little bit of money on something really high quality and like amazing definitely use this knife this next product I really loved it's a little silicone drip tray for when you are cooking I like to leave this next to the stove when I'm cooking 
cooking so I can lay my, you know, a little knife or spoons or utensils on this and it kind of props everything up really nicely. One thing I wish is that it was just a touch bigger so I could put my bigger utensils on there without crowding too much, but I found it is the perfect size for when I'm decorating like little candies, cookies, anything like that. And I have all my small tools on the counter because nothing really sticks on here. It's very clean, it gives me somewhere really nice to set my tools. Now the pantry gets disorganized all the time and I'm always having to kind of tidy and clean it, but this one really needed a big refresh. So what I did was I got these clear plastic tubs with lids and I put some baking things in there and some seasonal items I don't need access to all the time. I really like the ones that have lids so then, you know, dust and other things won't get in there since it's at the very top of the pantry. I also bought similar style bins that are clear so then I can put my kids snacks in them down towards the bottom of the pantry. I really like that they're very sturdy and they're pretty deep so then they can fit all of the snacks, little applesauce cups, fruit cups, and those have been really nice to have. So three years ago when I did my first pantry makeover video, which I'll link right here, I bought these food containers so then I could put everything in a container and it didn't have to be in its original packaging. Stuff stayed fresh longer and I have really, really liked them. The only problem is three years later, some of the lids don't exactly snap onto the actual container nearly as well. And so that's kind of annoying, but I still really like these. And for the price that I was willing to pay, I think these are really good because if you know anything about these like pantry containers, they're really expensive. So I really like the ones that I got and I'm pretty happy with them and until I'm ready to invest a lot more into similar containers that are a little bit higher quality. These are just fine. Another thing in that video that I got that I still use and I highly endorse are these can organizers. I have a couple of them down on the floor of the pantry because I didn't want the weight to be too heavy on the shelves, but I have all of my cans in here as well as like soda cans, sparkling water, anything like that fits in there too. These are really nice to just keep track of the canned goods that you have in your pantry so nothing gets lost or wasted. This next one I purchased for my recent trip. I took to Chicago. I was speaking at a conference there and I was traveling alone, but usually when I'm traveling alone or with a group, I'm the one that packs all of the toiletries. So like when I travel with my kids and my family, I pack all of our family toiletries in one bag. So then we just put one bag in the bathroom and everyone's taken care of. We're not missing contacts and brushes and hair gel and stuff. So I bought this really cute new toiletry bag and this is super highly rated and it also was a really good price too. This is the large size. It has a little pocket here in the front and of course I got it in yellow. I just, I don't know, I don't wear yellow a lot, but yellow is just like my color that I buy things in. Yellow and blue, those are my colors. So I really love it because you can open it up like this. It comes with a hanger so that you can open up the whole bag and just leave it in the bathroom, which is nice for tight vacations, like on a cruise ship. It comes with two larger compartments in the middle and you can zipper them from the top and bottom here. It also comes with little like elastic things to hold in products if you need. I always just put stuff in a Ziploc container because because it always leaks and so I try and be extra sure. But this actually fits a deceivingly large amount of items. There's some small packets down here that fold in, fold in, and then it folds together. It doesn't look huge, but it's actually really nice because it keeps everything nice and just contained in one thing. You don't have to worry about people losing things. I love this container. Make sure you get the large one because there's a small one and a large one. The large one's definitely worth the extra couple bucks. Something that I've bought multiple times since my initial purchase are these little bag rack holders. These you've seen in a lot of my other videos for freezer meals and for just food prep in general, but they are so nice because you just push them up like that and then you put a plastic bag inside and then it's really nice that it holds open the bag for pouring things in for storing leftovers for filling it with a meal or just snacks i use this all the time and i give them out as gifts to friends all the time something i really like about this is that obviously it's adjustable and it lays flat so right now it's looking like this and it has this wide base but you just have to put it down 
and now it's flat and it will lay flat in your drawer. I don't have a ton of lower cabinets in my kitchen so I have to be really wise about how I use that space. So I went to Amazon and I found these roll out trays that you can put into a cabinet and it is so amazing. So first I have one in my pots and pans cupboard and now I can put so many more pots and pans. Nothing gets lost in the back of a cupboard. And I also bought a separate lid one so I can put all my different lids on the side of the cupboard so nothing gets lost. I tried a different style for my bowl and kind of miscellaneous kitchen item cupboard. And this one doesn't work quite as well as the metal racks but it definitely looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing so I'm kind of torn. I do highly recommend though if you have pots and pans or things that are a little bit more heavy duty to get the metal racks because then they won't get damaged like the wood might. These are really inexpensive you just have to make sure that you measure out the correct dimensions before ordering the sizes and it was really easy to install them. My husband only took about 30 minutes to install both of them and they make a huge difference in the kitchen. This is a total kitchen hack win. The cupboard under my kitchen sink was honestly a literal nightmare and so I bought these organizing shelves that I've really really liked. They go on opposite size and they're adjustable. They have pull out drawers and they hold a ton of stuff. So I have all my cleaning products on there. And in addition to the little Lazy Susan that I have in the middle of the cupboard, everything has a home, everything is organized. And this has been such a lifesaver kitchen hack that I will definitely be using in all the other cupboards in my house. Next is the Battery Daddy. Have you ever seen these? These are so fun. So this is a two-sided battery briefcase case and it holds all different sizes of batteries. It also comes with a battery gauge so then you can check and see how powerful or how full your batteries are. We really like it because I don't know about you, we used to buy a lot of different batteries and then they'd end up in the bedroom, they'd end up in the junk drawer, they'd end up outside or I don't know just in all sorts of random places and then we'd forget that we had them and then they'd die or whatever. So anyway having this battery daddy has been life-changing for us because it keeps everything so nice and organized and you can see what you have quickly, your inventory, and we have really liked it. So this battery daddy is definitely a must have. This is a best selling Amazon product. It has like hundreds of thousands of good reviews. It's the little green cleaner. It's a carpet cleaner. I actually really loved using this not only to clean carpets, but also to clean furniture. I have these like fabric seats for our dining room table and they get spilled on all the time because I I have kids and it's so, so, so good at getting like dirt and grime and stains out of these seats. In addition to using Folex, I just spray it all over the cloth seats and then it just sucks all of the dirt out. And it's also really nice if you ever spill like a lot of liquid or water on the ground, you can use the hose to just suck up all the water and it's really good at protecting your floors and cleaning them. Another thing that I really like to put under my kitchen sink is this little mini Lazy Susan. This is is nice because I have a lot of cleaning products and soaps and things like that under the sink but I don't like having to reach all the way in the back because then things just get lost and then you never use them. So the Lazy Susan is really nice to have up in the front and it just takes care of everything. Something that I find is a total total necessity when traveling now is this amazing travel mirror. So I bought this for my trip, my girls trip in October, and it is so nice. I've mentioned it in several of my videos. So it's a travel, it's a big travel mirror like this, and you can turn it on to have all these different light settings. So you can turn it on, and then there's like a cool light and in-between light, and this is so good for travel, especially for cruising, I think, because or when you're traveling with other people because it is light and it's a big mirror so you don't have to worry about going to the bathroom. You can get ready on a bed or on a chair. You don't have to worry about like having to have the bathroom mirror, especially when there's lots of people around. And especially in a cruise cabin when it where it can be dark, I really like having this. It's very compact as well, so I can just like slip it into a backpack and it doesn't add a whole lot of weight or space. Last year in 2022, I started using packing cubes and these have been so life-changing for me. Packing cubes are these small little bags that are usually cube size or shaped and you use them to pack your things and then you put the cubes in your suitcase for travel. So I know it sounds kind of weird to like put things in bags to put in a bag. Honestly, it feels like it frees up so much space in my suitcase. It keeps things so organized because I can do a packing cube for all my swimsuits or a packing cube for the first half of my vacation if I'm, you know, at a different hotel and then different packing cubes 
cube for if we go to some other place. Also, when we travel with our kids, it's been really nice. I just do one packing cube for each kid. I take each of their outfits that they're going to wear for the day, you know, pants, shirt, socks, undies, and then I just roll them up into one big like outfit burrito and then I stick that whole burrito in the packing cube. Then they have, you know, three or four outfits in one packing cube. It is so convenient versus just having everything thrown into a suitcase or a bag. This is a product I've talked about many times before because I absolutely love it. It's my vegetable chopper. It's a full star one. It came in a big box, but honestly, I use like kind of the same blades and attachments every time. There's only like maybe three of them that I use a lot. My daughter helped me cut the one onion. I cut it into little pieces for her and then she put it in here and she was helping me make the onions. And then what she wanted to do was she wanted to go over to the stove and like cook with me. And I feel like when kids get in the kitchen and cook with you, they are so much more prone to eat whatever they're cooking, even vegetables like onions. This chopper comes with a bunch of different attachments with large blades, small blades, graters, spiralizers, and this is so nice. I use it every single time, and especially now that it's like coming into summer and spring and we're gonna be making salsas and all those yummy spring and summer foods, this is amazing for all those ingredients that need to be chopped up really finely or largely, this makes it so easy. I absolutely love this corner cabinet shelf that we have up here in the plate cupboard because it organizes all of my small plates and it keeps it so I don't have this giant stack of small plates in different styles. It really does save space because I had those in different parts of the cupboard before. And like I said, I don't have a lot of cabinet space in my kitchen. So going up has really been a huge hack. I love this corner shelf and I use it for other things too. In the other cupboard, which is like our cup cupboard, I have this water bottle holder and I really like it in there because we have lots of larger tumblers, water bottles, larger cups that need a home that don't fit going up in the cupboard. And so it's nice to see them sideways and it also helps not to get things lost in the back of the cupboard. I also have an overflow one in the pantry where I put our extra cups, extra water bottles, tumblers, things like that. Okay, next come with me to our main floor living powder bath. This is a bathroom that I renovated last Christmas break and we changed out all the fixtures for matte black black and gold and we really love it. I painted the walls a really pretty color called Black Magic and then I used a gold Sharpie paint pen in metallic gold and just freehanded a design on the walls. At this point I really just do anything I can to avoid hanging and measuring and cutting wallpaper because it's like such a pain. Anyway we changed all of the finishes like the little paper towel holder or the towel ring and the toilet paper holder and this one that I got I just like it just didn't work very well. It wasn't very functional, kept coming off the wall. So I found this other toilet paper holder and it comes with an attached little box where you can put little things in there. You can put feminine supplies or wipes and it also serves as kind of a little shelf to put any of your belongings on there while you're using the bathroom. I think it looks really chic and it's really functional. It's a little bit of added storage in this room. So I really like it. Another thing that we put on this shelf is a spray called Poo Puri. Okay, if you haven't heard of it, it's a toilet spray where you spray an essential oil blend in the toilet before you go. If you catch my drift, I think everyone catches my drift. Anyway, it helps to lock in any unpleasant odors in the toilet and it doesn't cause a scene, let's say, for the next person who uses the bathroom. I really like taking this Poo Puri on vacation or you know, if you're sharing a room with other people it's really nice but we put it in this bathroom for sure because lots of people use it especially when we have you know groups over it's really nice to have another area of the house that gets really disorganized super quickly are my kids closets and drawers and so I got these drawer dividers that are adjustable and they're very sturdy and they keep things in line and organized these have been a game changer I also use these in my own closet in my own drawers and it helps just keep you know smaller items organized I have this one that goes straight down the middle and then I have two sides where I can put my shorts or my tank tops or anything like that. So if you close this, now you'll see that I have them all labeled because I got this really cute label maker for Christmas for myself. It's really nice because there's no ink in here that you have to replace. That was important to me and it was important to me that I could just recharge it. I didn't want to be like buying new batteries and replacing batteries and something like this. So it's rechargeable and there's no like ink cartridges that you have to replace. The way that you get it to print is you have a little app that connects to it and I'm going to make one for snacks. So like 
I'll do something like that and then I center it and I can make the font different and I can center it again. So it looks like this. This is so cute and it's so easy because they have so many different options on here. But then all I do is I hit print label. Look, <laughs> and then it just comes out here and I just rip it off. And then I have been labeling everything. Honestly, like labeling makes such a huge difference, especially for like my kids' toys tubs, for anything in the pantry, for my kids just, they have so much stuff, like just different things that need labeling. Labeling helps to organize anything so much better. If it has a home, then it's easy to put away and things stay clean and organized. So anyway, this label maker, it's awesome. It came with different colors of tape and I use this all the time to label pretty much anything. This next product honestly just speaks for itself. It's called a Squatty Potty. If you haven't heard of it already, it is one of the like biggest products in like the last 10 years. They blew up on Shark Tank and they had these viral marketing campaigns and they just help you go to the bathroom easier. And it seems really silly, but it's honestly amazing. So these Squatty Potties, I highly recommend. We put one in almost all of our bathrooms because because it really just helps. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. You should go check out their videos. Speaking of Squatty Potty, they have another product that they offer. It's called the Squatty Potty Invisibrush and it's a hidden toilet brush. So I, I was intrigued, I ordered it because we have toilet brushes in all of our bathrooms and they're really just kind of ugly and they just take up space on the floor. So I thought this might be a good addition to our bathrooms. So you just hook it onto the back tank on the right side of your toilet like this. It also kind of turns and twists out so then you can hide it better, but it's also convenient to take out when you need. It is adjustable. It does require a half inch clearance on the back side of your toilet on the right side, like I said, and it's just a hidden toilet brush. So kind of another cool bathroom solution. If you watched my last Amazon life-changing products video, you know that I've mentioned my bidet before. We put them in our main bathroom as well as our powder room that everyone uses when they come to our home and it really is amazing. <laughs> it just feels so clean. And if you've never used a bidet before, don't be scared. This one, you do not have to have an electric outlet because not very many people have electric outlets in like their toilet room or, you know, the area of your bathroom where there's a toilet. So this product installs really easily. It's very sleek, it's inexpensive, but it makes a huge difference. So <laughs> along with the squatty potty, this really will improve all of your digestive and bathroom needs, health. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Just buy them and thank me later. Since we're back in the primary bathroom, I thought I'd share with you a couple of my favorite things that are on the counter. So if you see here on my bathroom counter, we used to have a lot of, you know, bottles, products, deodorant, toothpaste, all the things on our counter and it looked a little messy and really we don't care too much about the aesthetic in our primary bath because only two people use it. However, it was getting a little out of hand and the storage underneath our sinks was a little bit lacking and those are products we use every day so we wanted them out. I initially bought this tiered rack shelf thing for a kitchen video I did earlier this year. However, it didn't fit under my kitchen cabinet. The clearance wasn't high enough. So I thought, well, where else could I put this in my home? So we put it in the primary bathroom in the middle between our sinks and we just put all of our products that we use on there every day. And we actually really like it that way. It's very sturdy, it looks pretty nice, and it's been a good place to put all of our things without having them directly on the counter. So anyway, we put it in the bathroom and we really like it there. It's been nice to have everything kind of in a different place, not just straight on the counter. Now we love having our Amazon Alexa in our bathroom. It might seem like kind of an odd place to put one of these devices. However, it is so nice to have. I can set timers on there. If my kids are bathing and I say, hey, just Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. I always play music in there when we're showering or getting ready. And in the mornings, I always like to ask Alexa what the forecast is going to be as I'm getting dressed. It's just a really nice thing to have in the bathroom. So the only problem is on this side of my husband's sink, there's not a lot of room on the counter with everything else that he has. So I purchased this Alexa shelf <laughs> to put that it attaches directly onto the outlet plate and you can put the Alexa right on top of it. The cool thing is there was a little bit of extra room. So I hid his toothbrush cord within the unit itself as well. And so there's less cords just all 
all over. There's a little bit more room on the counter and we really like how it looks now. So if you don't already have an Alexa in your bathroom, make sure you order one of those and order the shelf because I promise it is really nice to have. This next product is really fun. My mother-in-law gifted this to me for Christmas a couple years ago and it's the skillet that has multiple sections in it. So you can cook three things at once. You have to have maybe a tiny bit of skill to kind of get the timing right on everything, but it's really nice, especially in the mornings for breakfast if I want to make some eggs really quick and then also brown up some sausage and then cook one other thing. Or if people like their eggs a different way, I can just make everything in one skillet at the same time. It's pretty cool. It's also really nice for small spaces, camping to take on the go. If you only have one or two burners on your stove top, then you can get a lot more mileage out of that using this pan since you can cook multiple things at once. For example, I really like doing burgers in this larger section and then, you know, up in the corners, I like to do some sauteed mushrooms or some bacon, other things that we can just have everything all together at once and it's so convenient. I got this new stuff called the pink stuff. It has so many good reviews and I have been using it on my pots and pans. Anything that has like really stubborn like build up, it has a little bit of coarseness to it so it really does a good job of taking stuff off. This was one of the most highly rated Amazon cleaning products so I definitely wanted to test it and give a review in my video. And then I'm also doing my scrub daddy. If you do not have a scrub daddy sponge, these are amazing. They are the sponges that were on Shark Tank. Like that's how they got their start and they honestly are amazing. They are the best sponges and really like the only sponges that I use. It was a couple years ago when I was converted to wearing an eye mask. Now you can't just wear like a dinky one that you get on the airplane. This is like the most luxurious, amazing eye mask I've ever worn. I've talked about this in several of my other Amazon videos, but it is amazing for travel. So it Velcros in the back and it's so super soft. And what I love is that it has a little nose hole right here, but it totally covers your eyes and your ears. So I'll I'll put this on because I like you guys. So it totally blocks out everything. It's so like squishy soft if you wanna like sleep on a plane and this is amazing. You have to have this, especially if you're going on like a long flight, lock out that light, try and get your rest you need this. I personally don't love taking baths. I just don't have a super long tolerance sitting in hot water, but the rest of my family loves taking baths. And Brett the other day was sitting in the bathtub and he had like four towels behind his head and it just looked obnoxious. They were getting wet, they were falling down. So I ordered him this bath pillow and it has been life-changing. Not only is it highly rated, it was very convenient to set up and it dries very quickly. It's very, you know, discreet. It's not obnoxiously loud or anything like that. And my family loves it. So that's a huge plus, of course. One of my absolute number one kitchen accessories that I need to have and I think everyone should have is a kitchen food scale. So the thing I love about this one is that it gives me a measurement, an accurate measurement to the 10th place. And there's tons of different units of measurement. And I use this all the time when I'm baking, especially when I'm making bread, when I need to just weigh something out, when I'm meal prepping or when I'm trying to calculate macros for something. It's so convenient and it's just nice to have more knowledge and more statistics and data about your food and you can have more accurate cooking and therefore more confidence and joy in the kitchen. This last year I started wearing like face makeup and so I had to buy some makeup brushes and makeup and it's all kind of new to me. But I also bought this makeup brush cleaner cleaning device and it's actually kind of fun. I think it's kind of extra. You don't really need Need it but it's been nice to have. I just put a little bit of dish soap and hot filtered water in the little basin here. It's like silicone. It has these little grooves on the bottom to help get all that dirt and makeup out of your brushes. So all you have to do is rinse your brushes and then just agitate them on the bottom of this little thing. Cleans your makeup brushes then I rinse them again with hot water and then I just let them dry. So that's a good way to clean your makeup brushes so you're not spreading bacteria, disease, anything like that on your face through your makeup brushes. I have a Dyson stick vacuum that is portable cordless, which I really love and I use it daily. However, it's not super great at like 
deep cleaning and like sucking the dirt out. It only lasts for a couple minutes with the battery time and everything. So I wanted something that was corded and that had like really good suction power for, you know, the rest of my house. So I purchased this Shark vacuum. It had really good reviews. I kind of compared it against all the other vacuums that were on sale for Prime Day. And this vacuum is amazing. Something that makes me really feel good about it is that I have a cleaning crew that comes and helps me a couple times a month to deep clean my house and to help me stay on top of things. And they use the same vacuum. So I feel like that is a pretty good endorsement. I will vacuum using my Dyson vacuum first and that kind of picks up like surface dirt, but then the shark vacuum like sucks up all the dust and all the extra stuff that's underneath that initial layer. And this has been such an awesome vacuum. I also like that it's really small. It's like pretty discreet. And and so I just put it in my laundry room upstairs and it has been an awesome vacuum. So if you are in the market for a vacuum, I highly suggest this shark one. So the next thing you've seen in my Amazon bathroom must haves video, it's these hair turbans. And we have been wearing these all over the place. My kids just started swim lessons. So we even take them to our swimming lessons, but it's so nice on vacation because towels in like hotels or anywhere you're traveling, I feel like they're just not super soft. You never have enough of them. And these are so convenient because you just wrap up your head in them, your hair dries so nicely, and it's really compact, it's soft, and these are so, so nice. I think these came in a three pack and we honestly use them every single day. My daughter and I love them. If you want your own home bathroom to feel like a spa experience, then you have to get this amazing towel warmer. Now it kind of looks like a tall and skinny hamper, but it warms up your towels or your clothes and it makes them perfectly hot and cozy and warm right when you get out of the shower. I actually don't have an extra outlet in my bathroom, so that might be something Thing to keep in mind when you order this product, but I just put it right by my bathroom door and there is an outlet right on the other side of that door. So that's where I put it in. It has an auto shut off feature and you can warm up your towels or clothes in 15 to 60 minute increments. And it has been so cozy. After that, it was totally fine and it has been such a cool and luxurious addition to our home for less than $200. Okay, the next thing is a shower mirror. I've gotten these shower mirrors before, but it was kind of a smaller dinky one and it would fog up all the time even though it claimed not to. This one is highly rated and it was very sturdy. The nice thing about this mirror is that you fill it with hot water while you're in the shower and that helps prevent any fogging of the mirror. If you like to take off your makeup, or shave in the shower like we do, then it's a really nice addition to just make sure that you get everything off your face and it's really nice. Since we're already here in the primary shower, let's just take a look at this next one. It's a amazing waterfall shower head. We used to have a really dinky one just when we moved into the house and it was fine, but it actually broke about two months ago and so we had to replace it. And I ordered a couple different ones, but this one was the best. It has a really nice waterfall shower head at the top and then also has an attachment hose and you can change it so it's only the hose only the top or a combination of both and it's really nice for just bathing in a spa like environment we really also like it for bathing or showering our kids because I can use that wand and it just gets all the shampoo and stuff out of their hair without them complaining that they're getting water and shampoo in their eyes this just makes the whole shower just feel very luxurious for a very low price and we have really enjoyed it so I highly recommend this shower head this next one is a travel essential, especially if you are going on a cruise or a vacation with other people where you're going to be sharing spaces. This is a travel charger that I got. So it's not a portable one. So you do have to plug it in, but I'm just going to show you. It comes with three different sections. This section is for your, let's see, this is for your phone. So you just lay your phone right on here. This middle section is for an Apple watch. And then this is for headphones. So you only have to plug in one spot in your hotel room or a cruise cabin and you can charge three things with it which is so nice so i just like put my watch on here my phone my airpods and if you're not using one of those you don't have to use it and you can fold it up so it's you know if you just want the watch charger you can just fold it up like this i just love how compact this is and you can charge so many things without using three outlets also it kind of goes in a little triangle like this so if you want to charge things kind of cool like on an angle it's really convenient I will not travel without this anymore so this one is a trifle but I think they also have one that 
just has two of them. So if you just have a phone and a watch, or you can also charge your AirPods on the phone one as well. So you, there's lots of different options, but I highly recommend getting one of these. Okay, my last favorite, like absolute favorite product, bathroom product, are my water pick and my Sonicare toothbrush. I've mentioned these before, but they honestly are life changing. If you've never used a water pick before, it's basically a power washer for your mouth. It gets all the junk out of your teeth so you don't have to floss, you use the water instead. And it's so much more effective than floss. I swear if I had to choose between my toothbrush and my water pick for the rest of my life, I would pick the water pick. It's just amazing. And my teeth have never been better, never been cleaner. It's so good. This next product is the Sleek Socket. So I have two of these in my house right now because we don't have a ton of outlets, but it seems like they're all in the wrong places. So I have one of these Sleek Sockets next to my nightstand. What's cool about the Sleek Socket is that it goes directly into the wall, it plugs directly into the wall, but then it makes it flush. So then you can put furniture, couches, anything right up against the wall so the stuff that you plug in is not jutting out. Then it goes to a power strip where you can plug in a ton of different things and it's really convenient and it makes the space look so much cleaner and way more organized. My number one kids activity or travel toy are these little e-writing boards. I think like the name brand is like a boogie board. We've gotten several variations over the years but there are these little e-writers and it's basically kind of like an etch-a-sketch but it's a sketch board that you can erase so you can write on there and it's so fun like this and then all you do is you press this button right here and it clears it there's a little button on the back right here where it locks your creation so it doesn't get lost so then you just go like that and your drawing disappears but it's so fun for the kids to write on and it's super thin do you see how thin this is this is so light it takes up like hardly any room so it's really nice for traveling and like in the car and it's not like an electronic like we don't do a whole lot of electronics for our kids so these are really nice and my daughter loves them my son loves them i mean i love them i always like will sketch things on here it's also really nice just to have in the kitchen because like i'll write down instructions for you know people in the family or i'll write down instructions for a recipe i love these little e-writers they're really cheap and so fun for kids i usually work between six and nine hours a day and usually at my desk so this next product has actually been really nice for me because it just makes work so much more comfortable. This is a foam footrest to put under your desk. I lay my feet on there when I'm sitting at my desk and it's actually really nice. I was using like a little stool that we had at the house, but it just like wasn't the right size. It wasn't very comfortable. And so this has been really nice for just my comfort during work. The nice thing is you can also kind of adjust the height so it can be bigger or smaller and you can turn it around so it kind of is on that curved part so then you can rock back and forth with it. It's actually been a really nice footrest to make work much more comfortable and life-changing for me. Next I'm going to talk about a couple things that you might enjoy if you're traveling with kids. So the first one are these sticker books. My kids absolutely love them. I have a boy and a girl school age and preschool and what you do is you take these little sticker sheets that are labeled by number and then you put them on to the sticker sheet so it's like a paint by number but it's a paint by sticker like duh like what it says on the book on the book <laughs> but look how cute these are there's like this one is a princess one there's all sorts of different designs and different patterns and themes so this one is like a unicorns and magic but my son has like a dinosaur one and what's great is that these can be done in the car they can be done on a plane they can be done waiting and it's good for their you know finger dexterity and it's also really nice because it's not messy like crayons and like coloring those can get lost and they can roll around this one is like so quiet so nice and my kids love these. They can be entertained by this book for hours. It's really inexpensive, so good for kids, grandkids. I mean, like I would like to do one of these, honestly, they're so fun. So these paint by sticker books are 
awesome. Next are these wiki sticks. So I'll put a picture right here. Wiki sticks are like these little bendable wax covered sticks. We got them in a like kids meal one time and I bought a pack of them immediately for a trip to Disneyland we took a couple years ago. And the kids just love like playing with them. They form them into little shapes and people and they can be so creative with these wiki sticks. And like once they get all wadded up and gross, you can just throw them away. They're like really cheap. So I don't feel bad doing that. They're a really great toy and activity to help kids of really any age stay entertained. A couple years ago, our next door neighbors, they gave the nicest birthday present because he was traveling a lot for work before COVID. So they brought him this travel pillow and it like clasped right here, but it's like this bendy C shape, like super cozy travel pillow. And it is super highly rated on Amazon. And I can tell why, because I take this on road trips. I take this on the plane. I stuff this in my bag and it's, you know, it's kind of annoying to travel with a travel pillow, right? Because it like takes up space, but it is so worth it for your comfort when you're flying, traveling, driving, because it's a lot more compact than like a regular pillow. And it like just stretches nicely. You can just put it in all sorts of different positions. So this travel pillow, Thank you, Jason and Ilya. It's amazing. Definitely get this one too. If you're not traveling by air and you're taking a road trip for spring break or for your summer vacation this year, I got these travel neck pillows for my kids, especially the little ones. It's so hard when you fall asleep and your neck is so uncomfortable. So these have been so nice. And I love that they come with a little hook on the top and they come with a tiny little, little strap here that can kind of affix to itself. And it also comes with a travel carrying case. So I got two of these in two different colors. They're really cute. And we take them on all of our road trips, all of our travels, because the kids really do need them. And like I said, I love the travel case because it just keeps them clean. It keeps them compact. And these are a must have. This next one is a roll up travel hat. Now I have converted all of my friends with these because they are that good. It's especially good for travel because it rolls up super tight. So all it is is a sun hat that rolls up and you just affix it with this velcro crow or the or the hook and loop or something and then you just like put it on okay it's not like the most absolute stylish thing you've ever worn however it does the job it takes up zero space and you don't have to worry about your cute sun hats getting squashed in your luggage so this is what it looks like and one of the best things about it is when you're at the pool and you have like a high ponytail or a high bun up here you can wear that with this hat because it has like a hole at the top so i love this i wear it for gardening i wear it anytime we're outside i always throw it in my pool bag or my outside park bag because I always protect my face from the sun. This is the absolute best for travel because look how compact it is. You can squash it, squish it, and it's not going to break. In October, I went on a girl's trip with some of my best friends. We went on a cruise, which was so fun. I'm not like a huge cruiser, but my friend brought these motion sickness patches that were so, so helpful. I get really motion sick now. Like I didn't used to when I was younger, but now I guess I'm just old. And so I get motion sick a lot. So anyway, there are these little patches and you put them right behind your ear and they help prevent and reduce motion sickness. So we're actually going on a cruise for spring break with my kids. We haven't told them yet, I'm really excited. And so I bought a bunch of those because my kids are just like me and they get motion sick. So these are so nice, very convenient, and they really help, especially if you don't want to orally take any medication. The next thing I will not travel without are compression socks. So I know that kind of sounds like a very old person thing to do, but honestly, they've been so nice. On my last several trips, I've worn compression socks and I keep buying them again because I just like wear them all the time now. They're so good for my legs and just like sitting at my office, working when I'm recording, they're so nice. So I never travel and fly without compression socks. These ones I got on Amazon are so nice and I love how like white and like clean these are. These are brand new, but I'm still wearing my other white ones. These are amazing. I don't care what anyone says, wear compression socks when traveling, it helps so so much. Like I mentioned, we are going on a kind of tropical vacation for spring break with the kids and we love the beach. So I thought it'd be fun. I bought these little collapsible pails for them to use at the beach. And they're nice because they, they like collapse, they expand like this. And these are like super heavy duty. And then 
then it, once you're done with them, you just collapse them like this. And then they kind of stack really nicely like giant Connect Four. Um, Connect Four pieces. I just played that game with my daughter yesterday, so I should know. So these came in a three pack. They were really affordable. And I thought it would be just really fun for them to have something to play with on the beach um, that weren't like little tiny toys. They definitely love the buckets. I have talked about these before and I totally swear by them. They're these luggage packing cubes. This one's like a large one, but I actually just bought another pack of them because they were on sale. And since we're going on a big family vacation, I wanted to buy some more for the other people in my family. And I bought these ones in black, but look how compact these are. They come with a bunch of different sizes. And I really like that you can just pack everything that you need for a trip, put them in these packing cubes, and it's so much more efficient. It's like playing dominoes instead of just like throwing a million shirts and shorts and underwear and toiletries and different things. It's so much more efficient and clean clean and organized when you can put them in the packing cubes. The other thing that this one comes with is like a little shoe bag and like a little laundry bag, which is nice. These packing cubes, I'm telling you, are an absolute necessity. One thing that I wear every single day is sunscreen and I really love this super goop kind. This is the unseen sunscreen. You just need like dime size, a dime size dollop of this. It's really light. So you can see on my hand here, just like it's very, very light and creamy and it's not like a heavy sunscreen. This is something that I wear every single day to protect my skin from the sun. But this one is very highly rated. A lot of people love this like beauty influencers and I'm not a beauty influencer. So I just do what they say. And this one is amazing. I always pack this. So my number one best selling product recommendation last year were these oil sprayers. They come in a dual pack. They're so nice. They're glass, they're chic, and they work really well for vinegars, oils, pretty much anything liquid that you want to spray. I still highly recommend those, but I also tried a new oil sprayer that is a little bit easier to hold and to spray. It looks like this, and I really like it because it's just like so much easier to hold. It has like this little trigger thing. It's not one where you have to spray up and down like this. You just like pull the trigger so it's a little bit more ergonomic. And I really like this oil sprayer. If you haven't already purchased the other oil sprayers, I highly recommend this one. For Christmas this year for Brett, I bought him a pack of these silicone travel rings. They're really comfortable and they're nice to wear to the gym to anywhere where you don't wanna wear something that's like flashy or bulky. But especially when I travel, I leave my nicer or my like sentimental jewelry at home because I would hate to lose it somewhere where I couldn't revisit and try and find it. So these silicone rings are amazing. Brett loves them. He says they're so comfortable and it just helps when you're on vacation to just not feel stressed about you know, losing something that's important to you. So these silicone travel rings for women and men are so nice. Speaking of things to wear, I have a couple really cute Amazon bathing suits. So this one is a super popular one. Like all the influencers post about it. And so like, I totally bought it. But this swimsuit is super stretchy. It's a one piece and it has kind of this cute mesh material on the, on the um, strap kind of a different like halter top ish you know neckline that we're not you really used to this one is really highly rated and it comes in a bunch of different colors I really like this when I'm going to the pool with my kids or just like when I need something that's comfortable I like wearing this one and then for my girls trip I just bought this a super highly rated one I'll post a picture right here this is a really cute one so it's this top and it has these really cute frilly sleeves and then it has high-waisted bottoms which I love and I actually mix and match my bottoms a lot with different ones I have. But this was a really highly rated one, I think. A, an influencer that I follow posted this one too. I just buy whatever she says. Her channel is Sandy Alamode. I'll link her channel right here. She's awesome. She's a good personal friend too. And then the last one I got for my girls trip last fall that I love. I wear this one like more than probably any of my other swimsuits because it's just so chic and so comfortable. Okay, this is a one shoulder. It's got this cute little ruffle detail. It's this beautiful emerald green color and it comes in like all sorts of different colors but this one is really highly rated too i love it it fits so well let me see what size i got it in because i think it was i think it runs a little small this is a size 10 i usually wear like a 6 8 so size up a little bit if you're gonna get this one but this one is so cute i'll post a picture right here this one's really cute in addition to that i wanted a cute 
cover up. So this one was also highly rated on Amazon. This one is really light and it like folds up really compactly. It doesn't take a lot of room in like a pool bag or a suitcase and it goes well with like any, any swimsuit. It's pretty neutral color. So I really like this swimsuit cover. Wow, that was a ton of stuff. But honestly, all of these products have been so life-changing and I know that you'll love them too. So hopefully you added some of these to your cart for the holidays. They're good gift ideas or gift ideas for you. I hope that you enjoy them. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you watch this one next and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.